Alright guys, today we're gonna make parrying and yeah, let's get straight into it. So, open your play stuff, uh, create a new line, call it parrying and set it to false. So yeah, <coughs> create a new attribute and call it parrying and set it to false. Then let's uh, go into... This isn't supposed to be here yet. <clears throat> I just recorded once again and um, I didn't actually record. I forgot to press on record. So I'm recording it the second time. Uh, <laughs> then go into your blocking server. Uh, type password spawn function. And so basically what it does, it says here calls and resumes the function currently and immediately through the entire schedule. This is what it basically does. Um, then uh, character, set attribute, carrying to false, uh, to true. So what we are basically doing here, at the start of our blocking, we are setting our pairing to true. And after, let's say, uh, 0.3 seconds, maybe it's not balanced, I have no idea. We're gonna set it to false again. And here we basically do the same, but we make it false when we unblock, and after a delay of, uh, let's say, yeah, 0.3 seconds, we are gonna make it uh, false again, just to really check that it is false now. Okay, then go into your uh, combat module, create a new function. Call it uh, mobile um, uh, module <laughs> mobile um, carrying this function enemy character. Then let's type uh, let's play an animation, uh, but not to break animation, uh, parry animation. And stun our player. Then instead of three seconds, uh, just make it one. And we also want to stop all the animation, so copy this and paste it in here. And enemy character dot humanoid. Then go into your uh, into your comment server. Copy this line and uh, enemy unit will parent get attribute parrying. And then instead of blocking, you want to uh, go into parrying or the parrying function. And we don't uh, add any damage. And we are not gonna stun the enemy, we're gonna stun our cell. So we're gonna send our character through. Okay. Then it's, uh, you can create a new uh, model, uh, a new army, uh, and add the parrying attribute to it. Okay. Then let's try it out. Yep. See, I'm stunned. One second, I can't do anything. Yep. Okay. And we can also look into our character. And see that that's how long our pairing is active. Let's also add some sounds to it. So, uh, the toolbox isn't working. Perfect, uh, not at all. But if it's working for you, just 
Renaissance Carlotte's uh, Carriage Carriage uh, Tension Pop, this is how he runs And then just go into your combat motion. You can even copy this line from our blocking function. Pass it in here. And uh, not block break, but we want our parry. It's also just called parry sound. Okay. Uh, publish. But yeah. What we are gonna do in the next episode, by the way, is fixing some bugs, because there are obviously still some bugs that we need to fix, but yeah, I will be covering that in the next episode. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, this is basically how pairing works. getting parried and blocked at the same time. Uh, yeah, you can also just uh, make him block. And then let's see what is happening. Let's see if his uh, blocking, uh, blocking attribute goes up. Uh, it shouldn't. Yep. Okay. That's good. So yeah. This is basically uh, uh, um, how it works. But I think even the next part is just adding some F SFX and F VFX again, so particles and maybe more sounds. And then the episode after that, we are gonna be fixing some stuff, and this is gonna be the final episode. But this episode is already pretty much over. I don't think we should add anything more. I mean, it's just some simple parry. So, yeah. But you know what? We're gonna add one more thing, and that's directional blocking. So, we're gonna create a new uh, function in, com in our comment module, call it module.check direction. This function, and we need our character and enemy uh, character and then I'm gonna use the code that he sent me this one because um for that extra <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then paste it in here um I'll just copy it from me I don't wanna I don't think you wanna uh, scroll up in the general chat <laughs> uh, on my discord but I don't like how he's doing that. It's, um, yeah. But uh, change the defender with our enemy character and the attacker with our character. And, and let's also change the angle to 60 and uh, 90. Uh, it's gonna be the angle where it's uh, checking from like around here. It's still 90. But after that, uh, like, here, um, it's not 90 anymore. Uh, so we are, got, we could hit him from then, like, from here. And 60 is, like, even smaller. 60 is just, maybe just really in front of him. You know, you can just play around with it. Then, uh, if, uh, if direction, if, uh, not direction, then uh, basically uh, the uh, um, is anywhere else, and uh, if it is the direction, then he is in front. So uh, then let's return here, return true, I return false, and here return true let's even print this out so print uh, anywhere else and print in front to see if it's working 
let's and let's even re, uh, rename this uh, check in front to check in front. And then um, 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 let's go into our comic module and type after that pairing and uh, server comment module dot check in front uh, uh, our character and our enemy human dot parent and copy this line again and paste it here for the is blocking check so yeah now we are checking if it is in front let's try it out See, now we are in front and we are not damaging him we, we, and yeah, now we were uh, from the back. Of course you can make the angle bigger as I said earlier, but now we can uh, yeah, uh, hit him from the back. After, of course that's, uh, we're not gonna get carried straight away, it's just that dummy. Uh, but yeah. All oh, right, we have. We can we can do one more thing. Right, I forgot. Uh, uh, in our uh, uh, our our where was it? Yeah, our hit service. Let's just also put here then uh, carrying to parts when the enemy got hit. All right, but uh, now that uh, wraps up the. The part actually, but yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Stop blocking me. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Let's also add just one simple thing, and that's uh, making your oops, wrong script. That's making your uh, block meter go up when you are parrying, uh, when you get parried. So, um, uh, here, uh, type this line, but just like, uh, uh um, so, uh, our yeah then here uh enemy character get at unit uh blocking plus let's say mm, let's say 10. so now your blocking meter goes up by 10 when you get parried Yep. Okay. Mm. Let's even make it so that you get uh, the upgrade. Uh, so uh, let's actually make a new function here. Uh, local function is uh, dark break, and then just copy it, this code. And yeah, but we need this uh, enemy character, and then just copy this and. Paste it in here and paste it in here. So now we can also get guard bread um, from that from that parrying. Then everything takes so long to load. <laughs> Yep. 
can also just get uh, oh cool. <laughs> um now you can also just get God break from that. Alright. Uh, maybe also one more thing. Let's actually make a function. Uh for for this. So stop anonymous. Uh then yes, stop anonymous. And uh let's just call a character here. Let's even just get the humanoid. So like this. Then call it here. Line one hundred and six. Uh name the character dot humanoid. Then also call it here with our humanoid. Um, and let's also call it an all guard break function with our humanoid enemy character dot humanoid. All right. Let's actually fix one more thing, and that's making the parrying card break not interfere with the actual parry stun. So type here if not card break uh, the card break function, then paste basically all of uh, all of this and here, oh, just all of this. <clears throat> in here and then go into your guard break function and at the end here after that you will uh, you do return true and so if we guard break the enemy we just uh, make it true we just return true so uh, if it's not true then we aren't guard breaked and this is gonna happen just the normal parry stuff <clears throat> and I added one more thing to the guard break. It's pretty simple, just resetting the bar's size. Oh, uh, blocking the eye dot mainframe dot bar. Mainframe dot bar. Uh, just resetting the size of the bar. Alright.